Generally, I would start this interview. <laughs> <laughs> Generally, I would start like interviews with like, yo, welcome to Even Better. Blah, 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 yeah, yeah, yeah. But now I want to start with this. <laughs> of course. So let me close my laptop for two seconds. Um, if you are under 18, I'm sorry I'm doing this, right? Pardon us. So uh, Lula Odiba's core memory, she's going to tell tell us about that her mm. core memory of me mm -hmm. in her life mm. i've got two the first one um was briefly after we met you were kind enough to be like yo you oh, you want to come shadow me come through that day i wanted to really look good for you yo my feet bro were being swallowed by these shoes i get inside and um the way you ran desk was like you were DJing. I'd never seen someone run like tut, 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 tut. Sure, sure, it was like sure, no shop sure, effect. Sure, sure. So the way you were running desk and your hair as you're speaking, it was like how how shake I throw. <laughs> Even the hair does this. And it was like four hours of just watching you mix it up, dude. Right. That's my first core cool memory. The second I one was, was probably high. On air. I, I don't know, man. Like we don't it's, know. It's, well, my, it's my younger days. <laughs> no, no, no. I'm very content to express like when I was younger. Yeah. Like, Did I, you know? I don't remember, and I don't ever remember being sober. On air? Bro. In your 20s? Bro. What? Like, at the peak of Smash Africa, yeah. the radio presenter, there was a point, and I mean, I'm comfortable sharing this now, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. There was a point where I would either be high on weed mm -hmm. or under the influence of alcohol. Why did you Never do that? cocaine. Yeah. Just alcohol uh, and matekwa. Yeah, matekwa. So that's why I'm saying I was probably high on... <laughs> <laughs> so we'll come back to yeah, that. Yeah. And then my second core cool memory of you was um when you were getting your promotion and going to five. So obviously by this point you had known a while, yeah. but you were s such a star, dude. Or no MCR, uh, a VW event on stage. The Vivo Nation, I The think. Vivo Nation. Yeah. This was you, ne? <laughs> so you're wearing something like this. Ibi neli leather. I won't forget. Come on, what's up, Baga Skipper? Mashi Shima! So, anyway, he hops off stage, and because I knew you at that point, yeah, yeah. and you were always so kind to me, I, I woke up to you, and he, because you knew how big of a fan I was of yeah. yours, you were happy to share the news sure, with me, even sure. though it wasn't out officially. You were like, Yeah, I made it to five, and I was so happy yeah. I gave you a hug. Mashi Shang Shaba Momo. On my cheek, this pubic hair on my face. So, so the reason why I wanted to start with that because now there's this, uh, there's this uh, character I'm playing on Mpini. You act uh, now? Yeah, I hey, man, no. it's on Showmax. You should check it out. Okay. So the character is called Blaza. That's the character I play. Mm. And Blaza is this um, sex child guy from the hood that everybody likes. Yeah. And apparently he's clean sh shaven. In terms of his, he's got bare chest. So I've got a super hairy chest. Yeah. So like, let's see your belly. You shaved it, bro. Because <laughs> you even have hair, you have hair here. Like. Yeah, yeah. So, so because. <laughs> yeah, very an actor prepares. We take him on character, yeah. Blaza. So, so thank you, Blaza. So I thank think you. I think this will get us subscribers. <laughs> Welcome to Even Better with Smash Africa and friends. Uh, my name is Smash Africa. You have you would you would have guessed it. Um, thank you so much for subscribing. Thank you so much for watching. And uh, my guest is the one and only talented TV radio personality and all round fashionista, soon to become a musician. She DJs. She is an amazing human being. Thank you. Her name is Geleto Mudiba, but in the streets, Lula Odiba. That was unnecessary. <laughs> I wish he didn't say my full name. <laughs> but yeah, Kikeleto Bunolo Kanisile Mudiba slash Zondi in the cut. Thank you for having me, Smash. I'm excited to be here. Uh, thank you. I needed to throw you off. <laughs> I hate you. <laughs> How are you, Doug? Yeah, I'm really good, dude. Mm. And I love spending my time with you. So I'm feeling super, super nice. Do you like my nails? I love your nails. Because I know you are also like you into nail art, right? I used would you to. would you really? Is this also <laughs> a, your character? No, man. Um so it's cool to express yourself yeah. in whichever way. Yeah. Whatever way. So why are you done with nails now? I feel like I started the trend in terms of commercializing it. <laughs> and, and what I mean by I started what, the trend. <laughs> <laughs> I started the trend. 
We paint the manala. Hey, you are going for the jaguar. You gotta copy and smash. Go on. Mm. So I feel like I I put it out commercially, meaning like I was on a um a commercial platform, massive music, mm -hmm. and I would change my nails every, every week. week yeah. And everyone like literally would be like, Is Smash gay? Mm. And I'm like, No. I am not gay, mm -hmm. but my nails are a way of expressing how I feel. Mm -hmm. And my nail tech is pretty dope at doing the art. Mm. And I love what it has done for the industry itself mm. in terms of grooming, male grooming. Mm -hmm. Buff and shine boys, you mm. know yourself. We love it. We, we love see it. You. <laughs> um, but most importantly, growing um, small businesses. Because most of the time, the people who are running these um, nail bars are women. Mm. So we are empowering women. Mm. Or like just people doing it as like they are the business yeah you know also what so, you've done is also debunked what masculinity means i've always been a, like a metrosexual dude y yeah i've been like about it since high school my g mm. <laughs> so um i'm not i am not going to be swayed by one's opinion of how i appear mm. to my sexuality and what if five years from now i decide xa i'm bisexual let it doesn't be. matter you know um that. so so yeah man it's just an extension of expression let's mm. call it that and shout out to the dudes who are doing it and yeah i'm looking for the new thing to to start to doing see. maybe maybe eyeliner because all these things exist it's like fashion mm -hmm. they were always here they've they've been here it's mm. just you bringing it bringing it back, back commercially for sure. you know what i mean is is your dad going bald i just want to know like is my hair going to yeah, go yeah is oh. it gonna my little brother is convinced that my hair is gonna go my dad has gone bald and my dad oh, so is over 60 so and he had an afro in his heyday, mm, mm. Uh, but because my hair comes from my mom and my dad, okay. I might be lucky. Yeah, I don't I, know. I, I need this till you die. I'm also. You can't. But also, you here's see how the, you left the nails behind. The hair needs to remain. No, no, no. The nails are left behind for now. It's just like a stage that I'm oh, going okay, through. Like, okay. and it's normal. It's fine. It's, dude. it's also like, <laughs> I mean, I'm a size thirty four. <laughs> I have my own issues. But anyway. <laughs> anyway. It's not about me. It's about <laughs> you, man. Congratulations. Thank you, Smash. You're out here on national radio, finally. Following your footsteps, Look boy. at God. So you go. Mm -hmm. You mm -hmm. go. Campus radio. Mm -hmm. Boom, boom, boom. Check. Boom, boom, boom. You go regional radio. Boom, boom, boom. boom, boom. boom. Check. Check. You go music TV nationally. <gasps> boom, 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 boom. Check. And then you go national radio. <laughs> Dude, I'm literally following your footsteps. Like, everything that you... You are my blueprint, dude. So beautiful, man. So, are you proud of me? I love it. I'm and so And I happy. think also, one of the things that... Proud is, is not the word. Mm. It's... I'm in awe of God's greatness oh. and your ability and your... Um, most importantly, perseverance to go through the industry the way you have gone yeah. through the industry. Because in many ways, you I mean, you get flagged from people. It's like, ah, no, she thinks she's it because her dad yeah. is. Mm. She thinks she's it because she represent that, mm -hmm. you know? But you're like, nah, bro, I'm dope. I'm the shit, though. <laughs> and I'm going to keep going and I won't compromise who I am. Yeah. So saying I'm proud, it, feel, it, would, it would be about me. It's not about me. Mm. I'm just loving what God is Thank doing you. through your life, man. Thank you so much, Smash. It means a lot. Like, I'm not surprised that I am here, right? God is good. Uh, God is good. Um, I have, like, a plan in my mind. I'm just so elated that somehow it is connected to God's plan. You yeah, know what I yeah. mean? So, after Motlobona, next time I get Mo, I will like out. BBC to go do the thing so there. I wanted her to say this so badly yeah, yeah. because you know um, when I left radio and this is what uh, Lula asked me last week Friday mm. it's like Smash do you miss radio no I don't miss radio I miss the consistent paycheck which is crazy <laughs> to me because you're such a good broadcaster and you you see things like this makes me feel like you miss radio because you've made uh, uh, your own platform to still be a broadcaster no things like this speaks to just talking to people. Just conversation. Just no talking, bills to pay. Talking to people, recording it, and being able to share it. Mm. You know? This is what it means to me. Radio has a few things. So it's like being a parent. <laughs> the child comes, okay. there are responsibilities. Mm. So you are responsible to the advertisers. You are responsible to the BCCSA or accountable or mm. all of those things. The, the music policy. There are all of these 
rules around it. And radio says you can't be human when shit hits the fan mm-hmm. <laughs> because you always feel good. Yes. So here on this platform, I can come and cry. Yeah. If I want to like, have a heart I'm to not, heart yeah. and ball out yeah. and, and relate with someone mm. that I know their story and they know my story, like mm. I can do that. But yeah. on radio, they're going to be like, ah, ah, cut that show. Yo, 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 yo. So, uh, mm. yeah. So, so you don't miss radio. You, I, I, you miss yeah. the consistent paycheck. Yeah, the consistent <laughs> paycheck is what I miss. But if this can pay me consistently. Which it will. What's up, Will? My name is Smash Africa. And you're watching this because I'm on YouTube. That's right. But you know what? I've got one better. Make sure you go to dreamstream.co.za to subscribe to exclusive content, ad-free content, and most importantly, exclusive content. There's a promo code. Try it out for 30 days. And your support means so much to me because I get to buy milk and nappies and pay school fees. Till the next time, thank you for watching. Um, we are not going to um, go to radio unless if it's BBC One. Luna, Speaking of which. Okay, yeah. When you mentioned the BBC thing, mm. I remember back in the day when I was in Bloom, the benchmark was that I was going to go, and this is what I said. Mm. Gov CFM, YFM, 5 FM, BBC, BBC One. But and I feel like this this pause and doing this on live mm. gives me a better opportunity of translating with an audience out there in the mm. UK. Where my UK babes at? What's up, mate? <laughs> brother. <laughs> brother. I hear that, dude. So I don't know. Do you still want to do it? Yeah, 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 yeah. I mean, like, also what I like about that side, it's, it's not necessarily, I assume, it's mm. not based on age. Mm. It will be based on relevance mm-hmm. and you being culturally relevant with the audience. Mm. But don't you think that a-, a radio is not an ageist industry to begin with, even in South Africa? They have made it that in South Africa. They have made it an age thing. So I remember at a time, at a time when I was at YFM, there was that thing that's like, hey, brah. But Y stands for youth. So Wait. wait okay, wait there's more. <clears throat> when I was at YFM, mm. I was putting myself under pressure that I could not be at YFM if I'm over 28. Like, I have mm. no business being at YFM. After 28? After 28. Right. That was the pressure that I put Yourself. on me. That's not what the program manager at the time said to me. Mm. And I remember a time when I wanted to join 5FM. I think I was probably 23. And they said to me, I needed to be 25 to be on 5FM. How? So that, like, for me, it, it, the age thing has always been, mm. like, it's a weird conversation. I even thought, like, oh, man, Metro FM. I think now I'm turning 36 this year. Mm. I thought, like, maybe Metro FM is the go-to because R- I'm at that, that age. age. Yeah. But I'm like, uh, But you don't act your age, I don't Lena. know. I'm, I'm, a, I'm a kid forever, my G. You don't act 36, bro. I and I you, also I you were 31. And I don't look 36. Not at all. So, so yeah, but... Joe. I feel like this interview is about me. Can we so, get into okay, the questions? Okay, you see, but you're just so interesting. Dude. And we share the <laughs> same, like we share the same interests. Let's talk about. What, yes. Wait, wait. What do you think about American radio? Would you do like a sway in the morning? <clears throat> I don't. I haven't followed American radio, mm. like to those lengths to know um, mm. per se like the style yet. With what Ama Piano is doing. Mm for South Africa and brand South Africa and South African music and South African youth, Mm. I could easily go in America and set up shop that speaks specifically to South African culture Mm -hmm. or African culture, you know? Um, So, yes, I would do a a Sway in the Morning type of thing. Because, I mean, Sway represents culture. He does, but particularly hip-hop culture. You know what I mean? So, and... Yeah, if it if it has to do with music and fashion and we, art, we're in it. I'm inside. Okay, I feel you. <laughs> Let's talk about your influence and upbringing. <clears throat> influence in terms of who are the people who influenced you, um, on screen, on on radio, mm. fashion wise, mm-hmm. and how your upbringing allowed you to be an individual, the, the Lula, that and I not am the today. person who's. Who's a copycat? Right, right. Mm. Okay, so my influences growing up, Shade Kileberti, Yo TV. For I obvious see it, reasons. I see for it, obvious reasons. I see it. She was the only person that looked the way it. I felt. Yeah. When I saw her, I was like, she's so cool. She's so gorgeous. Am I attracted to her or do I want to be her friend? Sure. So this is obviously now the beginning of finding myself as well, just by looking at her. Sure. You don't see a lot of lesbians on TV. What's so music? Sure. But lesbian representation is literally <coughs> right now in SA. 
Sihle, who's a piano artist, Karabu Popi, mm-hmm. maybe me. I can't name other ones, That's right? Crazy, right? That's. But also, I think mm. like women generally like Represent- have, have like the worst representation. But carry on. Yeah. So she was definitely an influence. My brother was an influence, particularly with radio. So he would listen to, I think it was DJ Sibu or whatever. Mm-hmm. And I would be so, I was obsessed with my older brother. He was the coolest person on earth. Sure. So the way that he walked, the way that he talked, he played soccer. So I played soccer. Sure. He listened to radio and I didn't understand like the, obviously the discourse on the, uh, on what he was listening to. What's the age gap between you and your uh, He's nine years older okay. than me. Okay. Yeah. So he would like spend hours like in the afternoon laughing. He sucks off. And to me, it's coming from a box and I don't understand how this tiny, uh-huh piece of equipment can make him feel so happy you know what i mean mm-hmm. and then i figured out what radio means and i started listening to radio so uh in terms of fashion influences yo ke khopola ke le mnyane wa bona stomp the yard that year it's wa and i khale ke le tomboy him so i said to my mom you're gonna o tloge ke la bvd ke wa tla tranka e e na leng the tag go di e na leng pouch ke ba i want baggy pants I needed Tim's till this day. I still wear Tim's. So she was like, why is my child dressing like a boy? But it was Stomp the Yard and Chris Brown and all of those cats. And we were dancing bandanas, you know, baggy shirts and all of that stuff. So Fashion Sensor was definitely that. Always listen to... So, so wait, wait, wait. And also, like, did Stomp the Yard influence the beatboxing too? The beatboxing. Okay, okay. I had neighbors. Like, we were cramping, dog. Yeah, so we yeah, were, yeah. like, we grew up in the Josie age. I was actually with Bongani Fasi. And I was just like, bro, you don't know how impactful he you were in my life when you were younger. <laughs> you know what I mean? So, um, yeah, it's people like that, music like that. My brother is definitely one of the, the biggest influences, Sade, Gilly, Betsy. And, yeah, I think I, I've covered your answer. Mm. Yeah. No, you yeah. have, you yeah. have. Yeah. Um, so, now, like, w- we're talking about authenticity. Yeah. What gives you, like, the... Lack of a better phrase, I mm. need to read more. What gives you the balls to stand on your business? Um... I think, you know, having moved to a, a company like YFM where they were imploring us to be ourselves, you sure. know, the fact that I was queer, I just did You know, when people say, oh, do you know Lula? I didn't want the first adjective to be the gay one. Wabo, I wanted to, it to be about my work. Sure. The radio one. Yeah. Or the one that beatboxes. Yeah. Or the tall one. Yeah. Whatever. Yeah. Just not my sexuality. And then I walk into YFM and I'm clearly gay. You know what I mean? And they were like, please. Don't hide. Just continue being yourself. Ah, the campaign ready. Can I hear? Well, what a naka June, the October. Those are pride months. You know what I mean? So they were like, push it. Be yourself. You know what I mean? And honestly, I don't know how else to be not me. This is the only version. All I know is that I'm growing every day. I do recognize changes in myself where I'm like, oh, I'm not so fixated on things that I used to be before. That just means I'm growing. But I don't know how to be anything else but this. Yeah. So there isn't anything that has swayed me or helped me be original. It's just always been like that. So one of the reasons why I love this question about like you know standing on your business, about who you are and what you are, mm. a lot of people don't know who they are mm. and, and what they represent. Mm. Do you remember a time when it clicked to you, like, when I Oma? Yeah. You know what? I have this cup at my house that 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 reads every time I drink coffee. It says mm, <laughs> It's mm. so powerful. Mm. It's so profound. Sure. So, yeah. Hey, that's a tough one because I do know who I am. Mm. I do know what my values are. I know my moral compass is very clear. Mm. I know what I will do and what I won't do. I'm still figuring out. Because I'm reading a book called The Secret and I I, pick up, I picked up this book two years ago and I, I, I always read it like every year I try and tap in and remind myself of these qualities that this book is teaching me. And it's all about the power of manifestation and being like they say in the book that y- your reality is a reflection of your mind. Mm-hmm. So if your mind is dirty, so then I started like just shaping it up because even then I was so lost. I wanted to be famous and cool and have money. I used to grow up thinking that if I'm famous, people will treat me better. Because look, if you're a teenager and you're young and you're masculine, your peers, sure. and they want affirmation, sure. And but I told her, why am I not? Maybe I did seek it because that's what was normal, but I wasn't getting it. And I was like, but why am I going after these silly affirmations? Right. So in the book, going back to the secret, it just shows it, it teaches you how about like how <clears throat> you have to believe in yourself. You have to 
kind of be intentional about everything. When I tell you Smash Oil, I picked up that book. I got a promotion. God is good, man. You know what I'm saying? It's because I started practicing these things. So even in this very book, it teaches me about like what I believe in. Mm -hmm. And that's first and foremost myself. I believe I am a God. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. There is God and I am his reflection, which makes me a God. You know mm -hmm. what I mean? Mm -hmm. So I have to treat myself accordingly, which means the highest of respect for myself, prioritizing myself. I'm going to be self if it hurts your feelings not taking anything personally you know there's these little things that i'm growing i'm growing and learning along the way but that book seriously have you read it uh, i think i watched something the about docky, it the docky right mm. so book, the thing think, mm. so i'm gonna t i'm gonna tell you my vibe <clears throat> um i'm i'm not big on self-help books okay but you know what i'm big on what the bible really yeah like what, I, what so do you let like me, about let, the bible? let me let me let me tell let me give you why i am big on that's that. surprising yeah first like and foremost in terms of whatever is written in the bible is actually happening like in life based on what you are reading when you are reading and how you interpret it and oftentimes people are reluctant to engage the Bible because of how either it was represented to them or presented to them. Hmm. And they never like took time to understand it for them and whatever they are going through. So currently I'm reading uh, in the book of um, uh, Jeremiah. Banda. And it's crazy. Smash Africa. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> mm. It's crazy. Like, and, and you know, like, uh, and just the, the this way I am reading, it's like what God does when you are disobedient and how he punishes you. Mm. And essentially how he speaks about how the Israelites were punished because they turned their back on mm. God. Mm. And, and, it, and Jeremiah is just speaking about fake prophets. And, and I'm like, uh, in truth, you know, you mentioned some, you mentioned a very important thing that you are a God. There is a God mm. because we are made in the image of, mm. of God, right? Mm. But at no point do you think you are above God mm -mm. and above another human being since everyone is made in the image. Mm. But you know the importance of respecting this vessel that he has given you mm. and using the vessel to empower others, your light. Mm. So when I read the Bible, I'm reminded all the time about three things. Grace for self and others. Mm. Love. Is the only way. Mm. And we have no business judging anybody. And like, and I'm reading that because I'm seeing how people are lifted because on those three fundamentals, they live by them. Mm -hmm. And I see how many people drop because those three fundamentals are lost in them. Mm. So when you say like the secret, I get it why yeah. people read it because mm. it, it affirms them and it reminds them. Yeah. But like for me, I, I heard something the other day, and I stand to be corrected. But I heard that when the book, the book of God, the Bible was written, the life expectancy was thirty years old. Hey man, I don't even know that. You know that thing last week. <laughs> and then also another thing yeah. is that, like you said, Hore, <clears throat> the Bible is always relatable because there's nothing in life that is unique, that, right? Nothing is new under the sun. There's nothing new under the yeah, sun. Yeah. Maybe a new device, a new technology and yeah, whatever, yeah. but humans and the way that they treat each other, yeah. way one is from a different um, mom. I will. Family go fell about once in Mafa. It's not a unique it's, story. It's always you know been. what I mean? And it's just about implementing those three pillars that you mentioned. Yeah. Oh man. Yeah, so no <laughs> judgment, grace. Grace and, and love. love. That's it. Yeah, I love that. Um, I can't believe you're doing this. She's so good, this girl. <laughs> This is supposed to be me Asking. finding out and having a chat. But also, I mean, that's why we say leave it better with Smash African friends. Because mm. I think talking to my friends mm. will obviously do that. Mm. We may not necessarily hang out all the time. But, you know, I'm a call away for yeah. whatever personal, professional um, dilemma yeah. that you might be going through. I want to talk to you about the art of surviving the media business um, without a scandal. Because you don't have a scandal. I don't. I don't think I'm famous enough yet. <laughs> and then she's not even more famous than me or anything. 
<laughs> so it's not about how many followers you have or how people scandal is scandal. But I don't have any scandals. So the reason why I'm asking mm. you this question, have you been intentional about not being scandalous? <laughs> or or is it just one of those things you know like I need to keep a clean brand in order for me to eat? Mm. Mm. Yet you are human. Ah, dude. And I... because scandals only come out. Because you did a human thing. You did a human thing. Uh, Something very, yeah. that anybody else it, it, it would do. Mm -hmm. But because you're famous... We... I haven't been cognizant. I haven't made an active decision to be clean. Okay. Wabo. Like, it's just that I lead a very trauma-free life. <laughs> I'm very boring, guys. Like, <laughs> FIFA, But I haven't been intentional about, like, not having drama. It's just, once again, mm. I'm not a dramatic person. I haven't had... Mistakes in my life as yet that like people would, you know, latch onto them and be like, oh, finally, mm -hmm. Kyo, mm -hmm. um, yeah, I just don't think that the things that, that have happened because it's inevitable. I'm sure I'm gonna have a scandal. Mm -hmm. I'm sure of it. The bigger I get, the more people fall in love with me. A lot of them are gonna hate me as well. And the minute that they hear something trash about me, they're gonna weaponize it, right? Sure. So I know a scandal is coming. I'm just not cognizant in being careful i'm just leading my life as it is and if something comes something will come dream stream a place to create yourself record video music and podcasts in our full service studio record video music and podcasts in our full service studio Dreamstream, a place to create yourself. But get life, good dog. Lena nekibala kanta Do you know what I mean? I know what it's like. So and yeah. I actually read a, an article by Cooley Roberts <laughs> saying that my dad was a drunk. <laughs> Do you see? Now you're no. laughing about now it. Now I'm I can laugh about it yeah, now. Now you're laughing mm, about it, mm. you know? So, yeah, man. Yeah. But it is what it is. Yeah. I, I hold no no grudges against anyone um, who published, who leaked, who put out my personal business. Dude. Um, yeah. And Are it, you in a good space? Right now, you I'm seem... in a shit space, man. For real? Yeah. How? Mvana? I want act, man? No, man. I'm like... Because you seem like you're okay. I, I'm in a shit space in terms of like... I'm not where I would like to be. Okay. But I know God is doing something great. Mm -hmm. You know, it's yeah. like it's like someone who goes to gym on a regular basis. Like, how is gym? It was tough. Yeah. But you see their body, like, transform, mm. you know? So yeah. that's what I feel like I'm that's going That's a great through. analogy, by the way. Yeah. So, yeah. I mean, uh, but we keep on striving. Because we do it for the babies. <laughs> the for babies, the babies. babies. <laughs> <laughs> Um, okay, mm. cool. Now, let's talk about where, where your state of mind is in 2024 in terms of your goals. Yeah. So, I just recently doubled my salary. <laughs> so, um, <laughs> okay. yeah, I want to buy property. And I have a serious girlfriend. We live together. But my mom, we say, what if you guys break up? So, I am going to take her advice. <laughs> Love you, baby. <laughs> Please don't use this as a soundbite on <laughs> Instagram. Because <laughs> I'm hoping I'll be watching hey, this without her. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, I want to have the best lunch show in the country. Mm. I want to give all of them a run for their money. I want to make a lot of money this i'm i'm like financially driven you know mm. and and purpose driven and passion driven so that's where my mind is i'm 26 this year i'm thinking about like what are the things i would have liked to have accomplished by 30 mm -hmm. um hoping that it aligns with god's plan um but like i said i give <sighs> an example of like shit she fucking did it like i want to travel nowhere this shit out you man. Know? Yeah. And I think in a decade. And yeah. I think it's beautiful, man. Mm. It's beautiful that we have references like Trevor. Trevor. Yeah, he makes it tangible. You Do know? you know what I mean? Yeah. And and when you when you reference him, everybody knows. Mm. Trevor. Trevor. Trevor, we know you. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> exactly. Did uh, you know you worked at Y? 
Yeah, I did. I, uh. I know. I know that man. Okay. And we like cross paths, like, but we never got to sit down like this and uh, talk like. Okay. What, so hopefully what, it will what, happen. What, what's your state of mind right now? My state of mind mm. is in terms of my goals. Remember? Yeah, in I terms of your goals. goals yeah. Yes, yes. So, number one, mm. this mm. being like a consistent thing. Okay. Right? And what I mean by a consistent thing, it's on your mind, it's on your heart, it's on your subscription list. <laughs> Two, mm -hmm. reminding people that we are ordained as people in the spaces that we occupy. Mm. There isn't a Smash Africa. There will not be another one if I drop dead mm -hmm. tomorrow. So let me maximize with who and what I am and the talents that God has granted me mm. in leading me with the purpose he has put me on earth. So I just want to remind people to tap into their individuality and who they are mm. and their they, they true self. Not doing it for likes, not doing it for, for clout, clout, not doing it for checks. Yeah. Doing it because God has a purpose for them. That's for this. I'm I'm also like looking to act more, do more roles. And doing more roles means like my hair might have to go. Mm. If the role means that much to me and it's gonna push me. So I need to grow in the craft of acting out characters. Because I feel like I have lived, dog. Like, I have, in the past, th hey, let me not lie. Since I, since I got married <laughs> to, <laughs> to being a divorcee, mm. I have seen so much in a space of four years and I've been around for 35 years. But when I look Damn. back, right, when I look back at my, my life, mm. and I'm talking about my foundation years, between zero and six years old, my parents were together. Mm. And then my parents divorced. Mm. So that was like, I'm looking at the four years my life is happening now. Mm. The, 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 the past this four one years. Now. Yeah. And the, the six years in terms of my foundation. Mm. And how I overcame that when I was just a kid. Mm. And the moment I overcome whatever this segment of my life is I'm going to be a super Saiyan human being. You like literally mm. won't be able to stop me. So meaning writing more scripts in terms of what I want to express. I want to write a story about a family who have a breadwinner who's addicted to gambling. Which is some real ass shit, bro. That's real life. Dude. I want to write a story about a dude who plays golf and fucks it all up <laughs> at its peak. Mm. Like, you had it all, and then you... Like, I look at, like, my life, and I'm like, you had it all, mm. and it all came tumbling down. But I needed to experience that in mm. order for me to put pen to paper and share those stories. Mm. Because everybody, literally everybody, loves a hero. Now, the stories that I want to write are people who are falling from grace, but mm. at the end of the story... They are the hero. the hero. Sure. Because everybody is going to fall at some point. Mm. It's about reminding people to get up. Mm. So so seeing that through, and also like traveling the world, experiencing people, fashion, cultures, food, art, just documenting all of that, mm. you know? Um, so God willing, that happens. Dude, when did you become this profound? I've always been. We just, but we you never know had, this. Yeah. I'm like, like, it was, yeah. was <laughs> there. Oh, look at this, a lesbian and a thespian. We need to come up with our own sound bites. <laughs> Editor, <laughs> e editing team, do the right thing, please. Please, please. Because you don't need <laughs> <laughs> But I love that, dude. Wow. Yeah, so so that's that's where I'm at. You know, I'm petrified of my fall, as inevitable as it is. And I know that I have qualities to bounce back because I'm looking at you right now. You and I are the same, you know? So if you can bounce back, I can too, but I'm petrified. Yeah, but like, you, of course you're going to be petrified, bro. Dude. Like, I mean, how many people are scared of heights? Yeah. A lot, right? Yeah. And then you just push them off a bridge. Yeah. It's like you just bungee jump, fool. Yeah. And you won't Why die. Why were you scared? But I'm still scared. Yeah. <laughs> but you won't die. <laughs> you won't point. die. That's the, that's the most important sure. thing. All right, cool. Uh, we need to wrap this up now. Okay. I want to wrap it up talking about your radio show. Uh-huh. Because I'm a radio guard. Yeah. Um, pew, pew, 
I'm going gonna, I'm gonna, to I'm gonna give you some unsolicited, unsolicited advice okay, before please. we even go. Okay. Since this interview is happening before her show, but you're going to be watching this after listening to her show. Mm -hmm. So the first thing is show DNA is important. Okay. What do I mean by that? Your show needs to work like a new relationship with your audience. Break it down. So you come in in the first hour, you're doing the same thing for the next 18 months. Right. Your second hour, you're doing the same thing for the next 18 months. Your third hour might be experiment, nyana, but you don't experiment too early. Yeah. And that you will decide what your show DNA is. Okay. So that's my unsolicited advice. First 18 months of this gig, I know you signed a 12-month contract mm. or whatever. Okay, nine however months, long, actually. Nine months. So <laughs> yeah. for the next nine months, you're going to do the same thing. Mm. First hour, second hour, we're experimenting with, with the, the third. third. Anyan, anyan. Yeah, you know what I mean. Mm. Why? The people who know you and who are going to move with you will know what you're about. Mm. The people who don't know you are going to be sitting there judging you. But if you hit them with consistency, they're like, oh, this girl is dope. Okay. That's great advice. Can I write that down? Where's yeah. my phone? Uh, we, I'll send you the recording. <laughs> <laughs> Shut please do. So now tell I'll me now. Watch the episode again. Yeah, tell me now. What, what's your, where are we going? Like, where are you taking us? So um, Between 12 and 3 p.m., Monday to Friday, on 5 FM. Five Lunch with Lula Let's Odima. Go! Come on! So, um, my three, can I do three E? Ne? No, don't do that. <laughs> I've answered this question so many times this don't week. Don't do that. Okay, Sharp. So, the goal is for not a good show is if you're driving and then how feel like you're going to wait for me to finish my link before you get out, which means you're captivated, right? Sure. So, a captivation to me means that you're learning, laughing, or feeling, right? I want to tell you about my favorite ever radio moments that I have produced. On 7 to 10, the nightcap, when they introduced me to talk radio, which I don't know why the fuck they trusted me. <laughs> but um, we had this feature on the show where we helped an audience member um, apologize to someone. At first, it was authentic. I, this is before I knew how fabricated radio was, right? It was authentic. R.I.P. to Lumko Johnson because we cooked this up together. And... We said to you, what you did to the person, send us your number and their number, and then we'll uh, help you apologize, right? So this guy calls in and he's like, hey guys, uh, my name is, let's say, Kisiabonga. I haven't spoken to my mom in around six years, and I want to apologize to her. Siabonga went saying, yo, um, when I was living there, I was a drug addict. My mom tried, she invested so much taking me into rehab. Which was the last straw, blah, blah, blah. <laughs> blah, 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 blah. And it was nighttime radio, hey? So it was around, I want to say, 8 p.m. Now we call the mom. The mom is old, is an elderly woman, dude. And I was so booing around six years. So I am like, okay, we're calling her now and we put them on the line together. We kind of step out of the situation. And they start weeping. This mom had been missing her son for so long. And this guy's shaped up his act. Like he's clean. He's got a child. He lives with his wife. And all of these things happened in his life without his mom. Because why? They didn't get to mend their relationship. But we got to intervene and help them do that. So if You got to be a catalyst. I, could be, I, could be a, I was a catalyst mm -hmm. in, in making that moment happen. And I want radio like that. Like real solid, emotional, you know what I'm saying? You feel me? And you know what I love about that? It mm. does not always have to be somber. It doesn't always it have to be It can always sad. be, but like friends who haven't spoken because the one is always losing his phone. Mm. And now we found his phone number. Yeah. It's like, Eminem, hey, you still owe me. Exactly. <laughs> like real moments on air. So if within three hours, if I can have at least one moment like that, mm. well, not always somber, like you're saying, just one moment where you get to feel mm. or laugh or whatever. Then I've done my job. Sure. Yeah. What do you think? I think that's dope. I yeah. think you're on the right track. Thank you. Um, and, I, I, and I think it's a feeling you said. Mm -hmm. And here's what radio is. Mm -hmm. The art of imagination. Mm -hmm. It's taking an audience member and making them see this picture that you already painted. 
and they can't see it. But now we have Instagram, so you can go live and do it and yeah. ruin it for everyone. But the goodie, but the comes goodie from is the painting. The painting mm. that is spoken through the microphone. Mm -hmm. Do you know what I mean? Fully. So so just go in there and um, yeah, man, have fun. Thank you. Uh, be yourself. Um, you must tell me off camera the red flags that <laughs> I must walk in there knowing. Worry. I must prepare myself because you know you're my brother. Ah, dude. You can help me brace myself. I, just, I you know? feel like I feel like the management there now is different okay, to the so management it's that not I the was same there. Problems. The talent that is there now, I think I was pretty cool with most people. Mm. So loving bunch, family vibes. Yeah, so yeah. just keep on Double being shot. you. Yeah. Um, but it's the SABC, dog. Hey, fam. Anything hey. is possible at the SABC. Damn. <laughs> 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 um, 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 Lula, dude, um, I just want to say thank you for I making love me you. open I love up. You. I love you too. Uh, open up about my personal shit. I'm going to edit it out. <laughs> Please don't. <laughs> don't allow this to happen. <laughs> um, but most importantly, thank you for reminding me that the light that you are mm -hmm. is touching me. And the light that I am has touched you. And we are just these, Beams. like, beaming <laughs> these fireflies yeah. to so many kids mm. and so many grown-ups, young adults, anyone and everyone who dares to dream and follow their dreams. Yeah. So thank you for being that. Um, stay, stay fashionable. Stay classy. Stay authentic. Thank you. Stay black. Because nothing is as good as being black. black. Dude, um, I wore these pants for you because I know how much you love him. Hey! I have, hey! Dude, I have another pair exactly like this Mine that I'm happy 34. to... I'm also... This is 34. I'm happy to give them to you, but they've got a paint mark here, so you're going to have to deal with that, right? It's so dope. I'm going to bring them for you now. And I'm going to take pictures with these Yeah. Pants. Well, thank you for having me. This was so much fun. I can't wait to see the episode. <laughs> um, this episode was brought to you by the amazing team from Dreamstream. Dreamstream.co.za. That's where we're at. And that's why you can see us. Without them, Smash is six feet under. <laughs> Without your subscription, I'm in debt. Help me pay my subs bill <laughs> and subscribe. <laughs> Till the next time, like, subscribe, comment. Danko. Danko. <laughs> <laughs>